it's important that kids have dreams, but that we have dreams too as humans, that they're growing up to become something that they want, that they have a choice and that they have those options. Encouraging them along that journey, that's, that's also important. This is the space I come to every single day to make things. It's gonna be 12 feet tall and it will have these as the walls that you see right here. And let me unroll this for you so that you can see one of the walls. There are triangles and there are rectangles and eyelets that I don't have a lot of eyelets on, but you guys are gonna do eyelets on the, uh, the flames that are gonna be at the top. It's called man down. Someone on a sports field, someone says man down. That means someone's in trouble. And everybody goes to help that person. What I first thought about the artwork when I first walked in was I was pretty amazed because I have some of Barbara's or artwork on my own art wall at home. I was actually really astonished to see all the different art pieces in real life instead of just clipping them out of magazines. So we're doing triangles and everything goes straight down. Okay. <laughs> when I was cutting, I tried to make the uh, shapes a little more unnatural. Because I mean, if it looks natural, it's like too fake. It was pretty cool to uh, see what she has become and how successful she is, and to see what maybe I can do one day. My dream is to become a social worker and help kids that are in difficult situations like I have been and am in. And so I just want to help kids and give them resources and use art to help. Found out that I really like uh, the type of art that Barbara does. I didn't really know that I'd like it because I'm more just ink and paper type of art. But it was really cool to just see that you can make art just by cutting shapes out of a piece of paper. Keep going, don't mind me. And I do want them to be able to see it and say, yeah, I cut, you know, 150 or 350 cuts and my 350 cuts are in there and um, see where it goes. I think we might end up getting one, two, three, maybe six done today. That would be great. It's important that we support young people and I think that Treehouse is a great vehicle for supporting young people. All families are different, and sometimes families don't work in the way that we might want them to all work, and so therefore the culture as the village, as the community steps in and does whatever needs to be done. Our responsibility as human beings is to be that third parent no matter where we are. If you're standing somewhere and you see a kid walking out into the middle street and you see the cars coming, you reach over and you pull them back onto the sidewalk. Now, not your child, not your responsibility, but no, really it is. And I think Treehouse is, for me, the example of that third parent. I can see you've done this before. <laughs>
Yeah, mostly. <laughs>